Are you trying to make a point, see ya? No more than you were when you went out last night getting blind drunk, leaving me in the lurch with a house full of kids. How could I know your mother was going to end up in hospital? And now you're calling me a liar over Sophie and Sean. I'm not. Let's let me know what you thought. He's a fucking fool on the Yeah, it can't have been. Can you keep it down, you lot, please? I know what I saw, Ashley. Dinosaurs do not have bombs. These do. They're special dinosaurs. Do you want T-Rex because he's got big teeth and a flamethrower? Do I tear it up to the laser? Well, perhaps we're just... we're just practising. <laughs> right. So, before you kissed a girl, did you practise on another lad? Exactly. Anyway, they've both kissed boys before. So when they're not what you think they are? If you'd have been here instead of out getting wasted, you would have seen for yourself. Any road. It's got nothing to do with us. Maybe it's best if I don't say anything about him being here. Mum, will you take Mrs. Sal later, please? You know I've got hair in his head, mate. Oh, it's a pity you can't come with us. But as no one will tell me what's going on, it may be far too risky for a 15-year-old. <laughs> you suppose we'll be going to a pub or something? <laughs> oh, excuse me. She dances as she answers. Here the club in. Will you ask my dad then, please? You can ask him yourself. No, because he'll just say no after I get past dad. Please, will you? No problem. A string quartet for the wedding. Classic movie medley. Moon River. Lara's theme from Dr. Zhivago. Apparently, Roy reminds Haley of Omar Sharif. Sometimes. The cello player's been arrested. Something to do with the neighbours washing. With no music. Washing? Items disappearing. Flimsy. Oh. And in his cello case. Perhaps I could help find a replacement. Hey, or well, what about Sophie's choir? They're very good. Mum, you've never even heard us. Well, she's always rehearsed then. Well, that'd be wonderful. Do you, do you think they would? No, well, no, you can't just volunteer us, Mum. Not this short notice. Well, if you, you can ask the pastor, you've got his number on your phone. Will you stop worrying? You won't be home for hours yet. And Rosa, well, she don't come home till the shops have shut. I don't want another scare like last night, thanks. Well, the back door's open, so you can be up and over the fence in a few seconds. This isn't funny. <laughs> Especially with your mum and the choir. Why don't you try and stop her? Because you know what she's like when she sets her mind to something. You do know the second she sees me, she's going to know we've been seeing each other. Mm. I suppose I could just not turn up. No, because then people will be asking me where you are, and then I'll have to lie, and then she'll know, because sometimes she has these superpowers that read my mind. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, she doesn't read it all the time. I could just tell her the truth. About us? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> About you being in the choir. And then she'll probably think that's all we've been hiding, and she won't think we've got another secret. Oh, thanks, love. Oh, I feel awful about not going to this hen night. Oh, have an early night tomorrow and sleep off your hangover. Live life to the full, remember? Ah, oh, really, no, I'm not up to it. We're okay, though. Oh, no, I'm just tired. I rung Becky and asked her to apologise to Haley, but she reckons Haley will understand. Yeah, of course you will. Um. Oh, I'm not up to taking you into town, love. Your dad promised you would. Okay. You might not. What? Mum, I've got something to tell you. Go on. This choir that I've been going to. Shan's in it. Sophie, after we forbade you to see her. Do you think it's one lie after another at the moment? I know, but I just hate having secrets from you. Well, I suppose you've been honest now. But no more lies, promise? The amount of rehearsing you've been doing, this choir better be good. Any news in the hospital? Um, no, not as of yet. I swear Devon Sinise must be in bed. Poor little sausage, eh? You say a prayer for me, all right? Definitely. See you later. See you, love. We seen him yesterday. I can't believe it. I, um, I need to ask. When I left last night, was everything okay? How do you mean? Well, the kids didn't play up at all. No. So no tears or anything? No, not that I heard. Are you sure about that? Claire, 
When I put Addie to bed, he was fine. He was all fine. I have babysat before, you know. I wasn't trying to insinuate anything. You could have filled me. I'm just trying to put Sunita's mind at rest, that's all. I best go. Claire. I'm sorry. I'm just really freaked out. I know the feeling. Night.